Hey everyone, welcome back to CK2 Plus and Queen Constance, the good of the house calling. And we're in our last, um, yeah, I think the last legs of this war. Um, the, the Holy Roman forces have no chance. So, um, we're gonna have two battles happening very soon. Oh, look at this. Why is Sweden, is Sweden attacking the Empire? That would be amazingly cool. No, they're just fighting a peasant revolt. Okay, never mind. But, yeah, so we have two battles. We have one uh, here. 16,000 men against Duke Leopold, and we have one here against the Anglo-Saxon Liberation Revolt. Um, what is a, is there a Jew, oh, there's a Jerusalem Rebellion. Oh, interesting. Um, and that is actually Jerusalem itself rebelling? No, okay, Jerusalem is still the capital. Okay, anyways, let's, um, who, is, who have you married? Uh, okay. Doesn't matter. Let's not get distracted. Let's move on forward. The capital of Savoy will fall very soon. We have the battle here that is happening. Okay. 20... Well, this is actually a pretty good commander, but he has no troops. Von Luxembourg. Um, yeah. Actually, that's really cool. You're not House Von Luxembourg. It's just your general. Hmm. But yeah, that, that would have been nice to see you. And you are... Before you even arrive, these troops have lost men. And we have not a whole lot of uh, morale, apparently. And they have a pretty good commander themselves. Elthabelt from Sonning, who is very, very good. Inspiring leader, organizer, brave. Oh, this guy is just amazing. Um, the thing is, once I take him over, uh, he's not going to be as good. He's going to lose some of his base stuff. Uh, and his marshal is actually not going to be all that impressive. It's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, we won this little battle here. Uh, and now the big one. Oh, look at this. The Emperor has been released and is no longer fighting us. So actually, he's no longer fighting this holy war. Um, so that's good for him. Does that actually have any effect on our religion? Uh, lost, failed county conquest. Lost Holy Wars, minus five. Yeah. Uh, minus nine. I can't read. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we're going to have this battle, which will probably not actually change much because... Oh, no, it will. It will. We have only 30% war score from battles. Okay, cool. Let's finish this fight. And then either we're going to attack or they will move in with Duke Leopold. Uh, but at least we'll deal some real damage. That's nice. <laughs> and they immediately jump in, only to be retreating. So, yeah. At least they cover their, uh, their retreat. Um, okay, let me see what's going on here. We have already one flank running. But one of ours is running as well. Okay. This is interesting. They're not pursuing. Um, and now it's 4,000 against 2,000. So we should win this. We should win this. Yep, okay. We won against the Anglo-Saxons, Hamburg has fallen, and we've won the Battle of uh, La Roque. Oh no, this is the second Battle of Baston. Oh, whatever, How, however you pronounce it. You, you know what I'm saying. Okay, and Savoy has fallen as well. Yeah, I think this is pretty clear, 100%. Let's see who else we have got imprisoned. Anyone? No, okay. So that's fine, it's just Herbert that we still have imprisoned. Okay. Good, we're going to offer the peace. Enforce demands. Um, Emperor Fulcrat. Okay, will we'll be removed as anti-pope. Okay. Glory factions improved. We gain piety and prestige. Uh, Catholic moral, moral authority will be increased. The pope is happy. And Fulcrat is going to lose. Yeah, piety and prestige. Very unfortunate it happens to him. Because he's not the bad one. Um, but, you know, still, we have to do it. Okay, so, the Francia War for Religious Unity has ended. Empress Constance has won. Okay, let's get you on the boats, and let's get these boats back to England, where they will deal with their countrymen. You guys can stand down, um, as can you. You can stand down as well. Do we have any other forces raised? I doubt it. Yeah, only the ones fighting in England. Okay, that's perfect. Um, we're still losing the King of England. Uh, they just don't really want us on our side. Uh, they just don't want to be on our side, really. They don't want 
our designated heir, Richard, who's actually come of age now. Yep. Duke of Verona, still holding on to all the other titles. I like it. And yeah, he's married to his sinister Bacamon, a shrewd woman. Bit lazy, uh, but yeah, charismatic negotiator nonetheless. Her father was slain in battle, and she's actually the daughter of the current Duchess of Upper Burgundy. Okay, Duke Cole. A Norseman. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Actually married to a Norseman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. And this is the heir. Uh, married to a Dornish. Hmm. Uh, not Do Dornish? Did I just say Dornish? I meant Cornish. <laughs> okay. Wow, my mind is all over the place right now. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, move on for now. Let's see... Let's check out the aftermath. Uh, yeah, also, by the way, I've spent a lot of money on buildings in our various holdings because I didn't realize there was a scroll bar here. So you can actually, there's actually stuff that I still need to build that I wasn't aware of. So, yeah, there you go. Anyways, our vassals have been, have been raised for a while. That's fine. Uh, this, this, yeah, this battle didn't go too well, considering the fact our morale wasn't very high, but... Yeah, we'll try and just catch them and go to Sussex. I guess, I mean, I'm assuming this is where they go, Kent. Um, this guy is actually leading the revolt, and we might just sack him. Uh, don't know why this is all, all of a sudden a city. Is that because the people rise up? It's it's the city? Don't I'm not really sure about that, but whatever. Um, we'll stand you down. I gotta say that this gentleman did a pretty good job. Uh... Yeah, the boar. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm just kind of glad he he gained a nickname. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, his siblings didn't do too well. You died of consumption, died of an infected wound, Duchess of Bedford. Yeah, okay. Um, Raymond committed suicide. Etienne died of cancer. Then one became a bishop. Where exactly? Ah, over there. That's cool. Um. You died from bad case of the flu, frothing in the mouth. We've got Alphonse, Agnes, and then, obviously, the boar. Uh, yeah. Not sure if there is an honorary title we can give him. Seneschal or Master of Hunt. Uh, what's the Seneschal do? Domestic Affairs. Hmm. I think we'll give it to him. He defended our homeland, so yeah, I think that's important. Let's check out the other minor titles that we haven't given out yet. 15 people are voting for us. Three are voting for Pope Sylvester. Uh, not Pope Sylvester. This is just Duke Sylvester. Yeah, he, he seems to have a lot of support. That's because he's a good diplomat. Uh, France is, yeah, pretty clear. A lot of supporters here. Uh, England only have one supporter. Duke Simon of Huntingdon. Hmm... And the Duchess of Normandy, they're not voting for us. Huh. And the Grand Prince of Serbia. Yeah, luckily these guys don't really have any... He's the only one who actually gets to vote on that one, so that's kind of fun. But yeah, um... D Duke of Hunting then, where is your... What's your stuff? What do you have? You have that. Okay, maybe we can do something to make you happy. Uh, maybe just a gift of gold will placate you. I mean, oh, he needs to be pardoned. I don't know what crimes he's committed. I think a pardon is fine, because he's dealing with this rebellion. Yeah. So, I hope that maybe helps. Makes him a little bit happier. Uh, anything else that we need to worry about right now? No, I think that's all fine. Uh... Can we build more retinue? That's a question. Yeah, we can. What do we have right now? 4,000. <laughs> yeah, 420 zero heavy infantry, 1,000 heavy cavalry, archers. I'm thinking more infantry. Am I thinking more infantry? Mm, no. I think more... Yeah, I'm thinking this. French sergeants, French knights, men-at-arms. I want the sergeants. 
two of them. And... Yeah, we'll keep that for now. Don't need any generals here. Or commanders. Alright, let them reinforce for now. Uh, Pope Colstenius. Yeah, I don't think that's actually going to happen. I think he's going to stay our vassal. That's most likely. Alright, you can stand down. You can stand down. And then we'll just wait for our English rebellion to be over. Okay. In fact, you can actually move from Essex right here and destroy. I mean, look at this. They have a really cool shield. And a nice beard. But it's not going to help them much. Because they're going to get destroyed anyways. Upholding the virtue of charity means to bear wrongs patiently. There are some people who dislike me personally and wish me bad luck. I bow my head in prayer. Oh, that's nice, I guess. Um, I guess we're not really being crazy here. I haven't really done any crazy stuff. Um, not really sure what I should be doing about this, but... Yeah, I just don't really feel like doing anything crazy right now. It's just... Yeah, I just don't really know what to do. What's going on here? You have a Welsh rebellion going on. Uh... Fine. We'll help him out. I mean, we have an army raised here. Let's actually storm this. Maybe end this quickly. His army should be destroyed. I mean, it's not really many men that we would need to worry about. Oh, and I think, you know what? Hugh of Champagne. Uh, I don't think you need to deal with this anymore. We'll have Adabeld probably deal with it. And Simon. And then maybe another, va uh, yeah, another vassal we have here. And Tien. I don't know who he is. He's a legitimized bastard. Just a commander. Uh, do we have someone better, maybe? Uh, I think there, there are possibly better people. The Master of Hunt needs to be picked as well. Do I want my son for that? Do I want to actually hunt? I want an actual hunter. We have some of those. Yeah, we've got a few. Well, one. He's not important, though. Hmm. Alright, my son, you will master of hunt. And champion. Uh, probably this guy. I'll make him my champion. Okay, better general. Yeah, I want you as general. Thank you. And you are my friend, but not really a great commander. Probably have the Duke of Toulouse instead. Um, and Duke of Lancaster. Yep. And the Duke of Lancaster will be leading troops here. So we have two English dukes. And we have just a, the champion of France. Uh, who's just amazing. He probably... Yeah, he wants to marry. Can we marry him to a princess of Hungary? Yes, we can. Yep, let's do that. It's a regular marriage. But I think he deserves that. As great commander. He's married to a Hungarian princess. Just a random dude. Um, I think that's I think that's cool. I think that's really good for him. Yep. He has no diplomacy skill at all. But whatever. He married a princess. So he should be happy. Okay. You will be destroyed. That ended in this Anglo-Saxon person being imprisoned. We're 100%. Oh, yeah, you can ransom yourself, and you, since you are a kin, I will probably just release you. Actually, I'll, I'll take the money still. Thank you. And then you move here to destroy the 6,000. Wait for the ransom to be over. Thank you. Uh, or for the ransoms to arrive. And there you go. Enforce demands. Cool. We won. And now, um, yeah, defensive pact, apparently. Because I took back my own lands? Seems a bit harsh. And I think they will act French or face the consequences. Yeah, we, we, will, uh, we will crack down on them. Actually, 
Gains the trait Tyrant. Gains the trait Wrath. Taught a lesson. Berkshire becomes French. Which is, I don't even know where that is, but we can have a quick look at the cultures. Um, yeah, none of this is French at all. Teach them a lesson. They won't forget. I think this is something we need to do. We are just, but this is the ninth rebellion we've had. So, yeah, Tyrant or Wrath. I don't see the difference. Oh, we could become cruel. All right, let's do this one. Teach them a lesson. And we are, okay, we are a Tyrant and we are Wrath, but we're not cruel. I think that's fine. I think that that fits, sort of. And it seems like, yeah, Berkshire is now, uh, whatever. We can build him a hospital. Let's do that. Let's build him a hospital because they're French now. <laughs> um, and this is actually, oh, this is our friend's son is the Duke of Oxford. County of Alencon, Wiltshire. Ah. In his region is Alphonse. Ooh, this is a scary dude. I hope he's not going to kill him. He might. He might. And you're married to the Duke of Kent. Who is of the house to lose. Ah, very, very confusing things happening. But yeah, uh, these 23,000 men will finish this war with, well, relative ease. One battle and then maybe a siege. Should be sufficient. What's going on here? A big battle happening. Uh, attacking King Siegbert the German in the Angevian Holy War for Artois. Who's this? Oh yeah, look at this. A Franconian King of Scotland. And what is it? Artois. You you are fighting... Wait, what is your... What is all your titles? Wow, look at Anjou. They have all of Brittany and then they also hold this. And they are now going to take... Some lands here. Now, I don't really like this guy. He's our rival. He's known as the Implacable. He's Valdensian. But he is an amazing dude. Uh, his sibling is also Valdensian. I don't think they have converted anything. Oh, actually, they have. That capital's converted. But yeah, um, I mean, if they kick out Scotland, I wouldn't mind. Um, if we have a look at the kingdoms. Yeah, England... But this eight more years and then Northumberland is part of Scotland. De jure. I think we should maybe do something about this. But right now, we are threatening. So I can't really do it unless I want to fight like the entire world. Which isn't exactly what I had planned to be, to be honest. There is something we can do. Oh, holy shit. That does not look good. What do we have here? Slow fever and smallpox. Oof. Okay. A minor depopulation. Looks pretty bad. Hmm. And look at look at the prosperity that's happening here. Champagne in Valois. This is in all other places of France. Paris. Rouen. So cool. Yeah, House Ventalen is still kicking. Um They have basically Herefordshire. Oh, they hold Essex as well. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Lordship of Lillibon. They do not hold this, however. Lucia. They've given this out. Or they've never held it. That's possible, too. Okay. Yep. That was a pretty good battle. Did we imprison him? Um, no. But we'll... Yeah, so here's the thing. What am I going to do with this guy? Am I going to execute him? Lord Mayor of Kent. This dude. Count Wilmar's Lincoln. I think he's going to be... He can ransom himself. Don't know who he is. Oh, he's that... Yeah, he is that great general who had like 23 skill, but now he's only got 13. Broken spirit. Is this ever going to go away? Yes, it does expire. Hmm. Interesting. Um, we could excommunicate him. Is there a reason? Could execute him. I think he will be executed. Yep. He was buried alive. Holy shit. Um, the other one, this one gets ransomed. And he, I think, will be blinded. 
Uh, yep. Um, yep, he's released. But blinded. I think that's actually pretty fair. So, the random nobody gets killed who led the actual army. Then, the person that led the rebellion gets blinded. But, you know, since he's noble, we'll leave him. And, yeah, the other guy just gets out for ransom. Now, Rainel doesn't really like us. For various reasons. Wants a seat on the council and desires the Kingdom of England. But actually does not vote for himself. Which is interesting. Because we have a look here. Raymond? Actually he does vote for himself. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Well, I'm not really interested in giving it to him. So, sorry. You're not going to happen. Uh, you're not going to get it, I guess. Okay, and the Independence War was won. And we can get our troops back home and stand down. And that's going to be something that hasn't happened in a while. Uh, unfortunately, our Chancellor has died. The Duke of Bourbon, 72 years old. Yep, died a natural death. He was amazing. He actually had more diplomacy than that because he obviously had the focus as well. So, and he's leaving a bishop. Uh, okay, he's leaving the Duke of Bourbon. And one of his sons is getting a province as well. Who is Lamarch? He just gave that out to... Someone else, because... Actually, no, this... Yeah, yep, I gave him the duchy, and then I gave him this province that he... Uh, was Yeah, that was split between his sons. Cool. Very nice. And this one died from the flu. So that means we need a new chancellor. Let's see who we can appoint. Um, Yeah, I think we'll pick you. Let me see if I can do that. Change council position. He'll be my chancellor. Yep. He's better suited for that position. Um, elective monarchy long reign. Chancellor. Seems to be better than the rest. Okay. So. Our chancellor needs to perform statecraft. Threat decay speed. That sounds good. We'll have you organize the army. Collecting taxes. Spy master. Good. So, now what we need is a new advisor. And is it advisor? Hmm. Duke of Toulouse. Maybe the Duke of Kent. Maybe he will vote for our heir. Because he's pretty disgruntled. I think that's what we'll do. Yep. And maybe that will make him happy. We should get married. Oh, right. We're not married. We haven't been married in a while. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it matters much. So let's not. Good, let's move on. Um, and yeah, so I think we're pretty well set up. I'm not sure what else there is to do for our Empress Constance the Good. Um, I think we're just waiting to die. And then we'll take over as Duke Richard, who's 16. It's going to be great uh, to play as him. But that will all happen next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then.